Guys, welcome to Forest Trading Strategies. So in this video, I will be explaining how we can use the Ichimoku Kinko Hill to trade to sell the boom. So I did a previous video on how we can use it on the crash. So this will be based on the boom alone. So for introduction sake, the Ichimoku has about four elements together. We have the Ichimoku cloud. These are the Ichimoku cloud right here this and this pop right here is the ichimoku cloud okay so we have this green line we have this green line we have the red and we have the blue okay so how are we going to put these four things or these five things into into action the 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 orange line the purple line the uh, the the orange cloud the purple cloud the blue line the red and the green how do we put them into use in trading or in selling our boom okay so this is pretty simple so i'll be explaining to us first we need to understand that this video is not about catching the spike so we are not trading the the boom on an uptrend you can see right now that from this from this area up here the market has been an uptrend series of spikes so we are not interested in trading the spikes that will be for another video but right here we just we just want to sell the boom okay so now let's head into the video now there are some certain conditions that must be met before we can trade it so first condition is that the price action must be below the cloud the price action must be below the cloud it must be below the cloud before we can think of selling so for example from this point upward see this level you can see the price action is below this cloud so that is showing an uptrend so we must not enter the market as at this particular time okay so now when we can enter the market is when the the price action is below the cloud for example we can see the price action right here you can see that it's below the cloud as at this point so that is one good uh that's one that's first indication of entering the market the, it must be below this uh orange cloud that is one so the second thing we'll be looking out for is that we must have a small spike a small spike like this okay so you can see the white candle the spikes happens and it touches the red line okay so that is the first indication so if we are going to trade it let me take this away uh okay so if we are going to trade it i will wait for the candle for the price action to be below this cloud this cloud right here this cloud right here we waited for the price action to be below it then we waited for this spike to occur this small spike that touches the red line then we can enter for two to four candles okay we enter for two to four candles so if you are using one minute time frame it is easy for you to enter for five candles but now that i'm using four five minute time frame you just enter for two twists like 10 minutes or thereabouts or even one can do serve so you can enter for it so that is the first uh the first thing you can look out for to enter then there are some cases whereby but you can see right here you can see right here we have series of uptrends so you don't have to enter the market so this is a bad signal this is a bad signal you don't have to enter the market at this period okay so uh next is the crossover the crossover signal so as most times when you see the crossover this crossover right here where the red line crosses the blue line start coming downward now it is almost sure certain that there's going to be a downtrend you can see that it goes to this point before we have our spot our fourth spike touching the red line so we can think of entering it but if it touches if it crosses the line up here 
we see the red line crossing the blue line up here downward that is a first indication for that there's going to be a downtrend okay so you can be you can watch out for this breakout here and adopt the trend and take maximum candle okay so the next thing the next thing we need to check is if the market is in equilibrium if the market has never if the market is uh, looking for a breakout now for example you can watch uh, from this point to this point so you can see it you can see the market is going on a zigzag you can see the market is going on a zigzag so that shows that you can see this point to this point to this year and all these points they are almost the same point so the support and the resistance they just keep bouncing them so it's like in the middle position it's like in an average position so you'll be waiting for a breakout so you're not sure if it's going to be an uptrend or a downtrend you can see when the break when it, the breakout happens when the, you can see the crossover here i need to mark it so you can see the crossover right here when the crossover happens and there's a breakout you can see this is a long downtrend so you must not get caught in this kind of zigzag pattern so that the breakout will not be against your trade it will be very painful when it's against your trade for a long time okay so that is the second that's the third thing you look out for the first thing is to make sure that the candle the price action is below the cloud the second thing is to make sure you have a small spike that touches the red or the blue line the third thing is to make sure of the crossover and the fourth thing is to make sure of the trend so this kind of trend right here this kind of trend this kind of trend whereby it is zigzag that there's no serious breakout so you must be very careful of it so that you can see when the breakouts happen it's a long one so that if you press an order here for a buy that it's going up and it sells for this long that is real that is real trouble if you don't have good capital so you must be very careful for all this kind of zigzag pattern so you don't have to rush while trading this you just wait for the best opportunity then you grab it and use it to your own satisfaction so it's as simple as this to use ichimoku using the four the four uh breakout signals i gave you the first thing is to be below the the cloud the second thing is to check if there is a breakout the third thing is to wait for the first spike that touches the red or the blue line and the fourth thing is to check the trend of the market maybe it's having a correct trend or it's just having a kind of zigzag pattern so it is very very important okay so next video we'll still be on this ichimoku how we can use it to trade the spikes okay so if you have any question that you don't understand in this video drop it and i will try to address it in the next video so thank you guys for watching and bye for now